Ian does impressions. According to Wikipedia, he's even a private pilot, but uh, best of all, he's from the D. You may know him best from Full House and Fuller House, and now Dave Couillier is bringing a new project to Detroit. We want to welcome Dave back to us live in the D via Zoom. Hey, what's going on, buddy? I am over here on Lake St. Clair where the floods have subsided. So we uh, brought in sandbags uh, four days ago uh, and some former uh, Red Wings and Chicago Blackhawks helped me carry sandbags. Todd Bertuzzi, Joey Kosher, Larry Murphy. Look at uh, you Hang, hanging out with the, with the cool guys. Yeah, so I put the SOS out to all the big hockey guys and they showed up. Well, it's good forward. news. Uh, with everything that's been going on, how are you spending your time at home these days when you're not sandbagging? A lot of Zoom calls. <laughs> a lot of Zooms like this. And, and Fuller House premieres uh, Tuesday, June 2nd. So promoting that, and I'm doing this uh, crazy cooking show on the Food Network, um, Worst Cooks in America, Celebrity Edition. So, uh, so that's on every Sunday night. So I've been doing lots of these Zooms to, to talk about those shows. Well, tell us more. Give us some deets. <laughs> on which one? Which, what would you like to hear? Any of them. <laughs> You're so busy. The, um, the, the cooking show was, um, they told us it's going to be two weeks of, of cooking boot camp. And you will learn more here in these two weeks. I mean, it was 16 hour days. It was, it was a grueling show to do and it was really intimidating and hard. And um, I didn't think prepping food was gonna be so tough, but they told us that this is going to be like spending six months at one of the finest culinary institutes on the planet. And they weren't kidding. Uh, I didn't know how to do anything when I got there. I'm a, I'm a barbecue guy, you know, I'm out in the back, uh, you know, with a beer and a, and a spatula. So, uh, you know, I didn't really know how to hold the knives or dice or chop or slice or anything. And, and, uh, this was the real deal. And it was, um, it was really intense, but it was fun. And I was, I was there with a bunch of crazy people. So, uh, speaking of crazy people, there were some, uh, Detroit connected celebs about 10 years ago that tried to open a Coney, Coney dog joint out on sunset Boulevard. Uh, did you uh, give me your thoughts? That was my good friend, Mike Binder. Right. And uh, he had Stroh's beer there. And I think he had Fago and he had uh, Coney Islands. And it was it was an amazing place. But that's the high rent district right there. <laughs> Boulevard. And man, you got to sell a lot of hot dogs and Fago Stroh's to stay there. Uh, next month, as you said, the, f the rest of the fifth and final season of Fuller House streams on Netflix. You are reunited with Bob Saget and John Stamos. Uh, what was uh, that like? What is it like when you guys talk or get together or Zoom? We are um, really silly and childish. We've got, uh, you know, several decades of jokes and stupidity to uh, reminisce about. And so uh, we're like three brothers. Um, I actually have to do a video for John this morning for some uh, charity where uh, we're trying to guess the Full House theme song. Ah. So, yeah, so uh, it never goes away. We've all been friends. We, we really are family. We really do stick together. And, and um, you know, it was, a, it was a real gift being able to come back and do Fuller House. I got to direct a bunch of the shows and um and guest star in a bunch of them and and uh you know they always say you can't go home again but we all got to go back home on the same stage at warner brothers where we shot the original full house episodes How that must be surreal that? it was so have you been uh there, we got about 30 seconds left dave have you been victimized by that twitter account that makes fun of uh celebrities home surroundings on their zoom calls or house parties uh, for what they have behind them no, mine are really crappy. Uh, <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I'm not set up in a professional manner. Um, I do have Mr. Woodchuck back there. That's that's not the original. That's the one Jimmy Fallon gave me because my dog ate the face of the original puppet. So <laughs> Jimmy Fallon made that Woodchuck for me. And um, 
Dave, almost as if on cue, your video, your video froze. We're looking at a, a, a still image of you, and I know that we're out of time, so it's always good to talk to you. Please don't be a stranger. Okay. Thanks, Jason. We'll see you soon. Okay. Bye, everyone.